with my shit. Here's the receipts. I am a receipt person. I love a good receipt. That's why I said, um, I also was told that, um, you know, they were getting a lot of my material and stuff and giving it to the other uh who was that they could that some some of some people been coming over here getting my material giving it to the other creators so oh, they but you've been create, but you but you had already yeah. been saying that so they can recreate create reverse yeah you had already reverse, been saying uh, that. yeah reverse to whatever i have to say yeah What's but you? but but um you was told that but also remember show receipts because people just be lying just saying and that's stuff. what i you know i told them and they was like they're gonna send me some um they're gonna send me some uh screenshots of you know some things that have been said and um some some videos some lives because i told them i'm not going to watch nobody live to see what the fuck they had to say so what is it? the <laughs> only people that they're probably gonna send you is probably kashan uh supporters and probably that some of your supporters on pages that shout out that we shout out too. I shout out all the time too. I only support, but I support Henny. That's it. And mm -hmm. I and I'm starting to support Hot Chocolate because she been you know with Rashawn. So for them to say that, that's because y'all don't even have the same um, contents at all and my thing is i am and, like and i know that for a fact y'all do not have the same y'all do not y'all contents are all totally different and i go to other content creators you know i know the rest of them i don't know and and I, I, don't care. Listen to, I listen to like i used to listen to um I used to listen to, um, you know, I go to a lot of content creators, you know, because I, I listen to a lot of different people. I don't, I don't like to put myself in a box. Okay. No, I yeah. like to talk about anything. Like we were just talking, like I just bought up the old man marrying the young people. Y'all know how I feel about that. So I'm on people neck about stuff like that. I don't like stuff like that. I don't like what Natalie Nunn is doing. I don't like, it's not that I be reporting on them from a gossip point of view i be pointing you, on uh, country, you, that's what you dug you a blogger yeah that's, so yeah, that's that's what i do content. you know what i'm yes. saying i just try to put out content about them put my own spin on it you know what i'm saying while keeping the core of the content that's what's wrong with this world, right. this world you know what i'm crazy. saying so and i think what is meant to do is discourage me because i'm the little don't discourage you because what's wrong do not do not let that discourage you without proof in the pudding i wouldn't even believe that mess but anyways don't let that discourage you because that's what's wrong with the world it's like we cannot support our own people yeah. it's like it's a it's a it's a race i gotta outdo you you gotta outdo me or don't that's and i'm wrong. like a tortoise baby i'm like a tortoise baby i'm like y'all because y'all don't know like i be, be trying major, to congratulate each other and come i be on you. major i be on major platforms you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. but when i go on major platforms i go on major platforms as sister girl i don't go like when i get up on their um up on their channel if i decide to hit a link when they when i go up there i go up there as sister girl and then they might say sister girl do you got a channel and i'll be like yeah you know what i'm saying and it depending mm -hmm. on what demographics they got what what they got going on i don't want everybody everybody is not an auntie or uncle or niece or a nephew exactly. everybody has family and a person that keep keep um throwing stuff and keep throwing and doing that that's to me those are instigators those are people that's trying to cause problems mm -hmm. if you have people right mm. those are people that is trying to cause problems and people that feels as if if you take something for them they coming back with a full force if you take something from me take it from me if you don't like don't, me you don't look, like me i'm not gonna go dig up stuff and say hey did you see this part this person did you say i'm done with it i don't know you from a pen from a, a, a pain what the hell people is crazy but i mean you know some people this is what they know this is they only like everything this is how they you know and you know i mean and i'm okay 
I don't have, and that's the thing. She's saying it like, I don't have no ops, okay? I don't have no ops. I don't have a problem with great tea. I don't have a problem with cutie, okay? I don't have a problem with them, okay? I just don't agree with what they, with the kind, the type of content that they're putting out. So therefore, if I don't agree with something, I'm not going to go watch it. It's not entertaining. Okay. I don't agree with it. If I see something that on, on the thumbnail that I want to watch, I might go in there and watch it. I, that does not just because I don't agree. I did something that I'm not going to, I'm not forcing myself to be a part of something I disagree with. I don't sow those type of seeds. Y'all know that I'm so big on karma. I'm so big on sowing good seeds and I cannot sow. And that's karma. okay. That's, that's, that's your, that's what you judge to do. Just that's you. That's bloggers. Y'all all, y'all all bloggers, but that doesn't mean your audience have to follow who, who you follow. And that's follow right. And I never that, tell nobody, don't go right. over there. Don't okay. mind for these people. I that, but I'm who not, am I? I'm not your type bad. of person. Talk about nobody bad anyways. That's, I'm not that, I'm not that type of person. I would never tell nobody not to do that. You know no, what I'm saying? No, you have not. So who, who's I'm, going I'm, on? I'm not on. that type of person. I still support the, I still support people. I still would whatever but if i choose not to sew into something that is my choice it's not the choice of nobody else you know what i'm saying and i don't want that you know and i don't like but that's just like that's well. on the outside of you bloggers I, we may see y'all thumbnail if i see something that to me is hatred or no i'm not clicking on to that i don't even if you put your thumbnail just for somebody to come in to draw, a, you know, draw some people to your chat. I'm not going in that because your, first of all, your thumbnail is hateful. Mm -hmm. So I'm not about to click on to that. And so I'm just so, not, that's not what I want to present. Right. Okay. Like I said, I don't, um, I don't, I don't have a problem with nothing. Nobody do, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm not trying to do nice stuff. They don't want evil, hateful stuff. I'm just sorry. You got people in this world they just, period. You might talk about just like this P. Diddy stuff going on or with, you know, mm -hmm. with um uh with Cassidy or when, when Cassidy put out her statement, like, oh, okay, if I see oh somebody saying Cassidy, oh, I wanna I wanna hear what Cassidy has to say. Exactly. But I don't, it's like like you know what I'm saying? I just you don't have to always Cassidy, agree. Cassidy. And like I told her in in when I gave even I can go back to the video when I modded her up. I said, I'm modding you up because you have a difference in opinion. You go hard for Jaden because she was going hard for Jaden. You know what I'm saying? And oh, I feel like fail. you needed we somebody fail. else to represent. I said we needed another representation in here. I never once said, you know what I'm saying? You have to be become a diehard. My nose is itchy out. You have to become a diehard Krishan Rock fan, all that or nothing like that. Because first of all, I don't feel like nobody. When I say fan, I look at a fan as a person that's trying to, uh, you know, a different way. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like we're all adults. You know what I'm saying, baby? I we're all adults that. and we can take all, we can take opinions. Everybody opinion is okay. We mm -hmm. all can, but the, when the disrespect comes, that's different. Yeah. Disrespect is disrespect. Now, that's different. You may be a, a Jaden. You may be a I Me, I am a Krishan fan. Mm -hmm. Like it, take it how you want it. I am mm -hmm. a Krishan Rock fan, and that's who I am. And I'm a Junior fan, just like I'm a, 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 a um, um, Mary J. Bly fan. You may not like her, but mm -hmm. I do. Mm -hmm. Just like I am, I was a Leah fan. You probably had something against Aaliyah for what? It doesn't matter. We have people that who Ashanti. I am a I am a died hard uh, Ashanti fan. Girl, I love me some Ashanti. Mm -hmm. I love me some Ashanti, and they are people that go on go in. That could have been a good title that people don't talk about when mm -hmm. Nelly was, was with Miss Jackson. I followed, I, I, I am a Nelly fan. Mm -hmm. I may have not liked things that Nelly had did, allegedly, but I followed them. I have followed Nelly and Ashanti. I am a Nas fan. I know a lot of things about Nas. Hey, Miss Beverly. So, you know, 
if we have our and people may be like, well, what she likes about Nas or why does she like Ashanti? You know, it's just a people. We all are fans, not just like, oh, I'm just a fan and I'm just going to go out there. I am just a fan. that I have been following them. I don't just listen to he say or what little clips of what people put out there. I have been following these people for a long time. And, and you know, like I was telling um, the sister the other day, I said, you know, it's sad because if you really sit down and you think about it at 40, 50 years old, at 50, you know, how much of your past, if it could have came back, you know what I'm saying? Will people be having their nose frowned up about something you did in your, at 20, 19, 20, 21, 22, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now, it's a lot of people out here that be really, it be like behooves me to think that they have lived like, um, like they think they're Jesus of the, of the second coming or something, uh -huh. because for Preach, some strange Preach. reason, for some strange reason, they act like they've never done nothing. Oh my God, how uh, dare her? I've never ran behind my baby daddy. I've <laughs> never did this. I've never the baby. I used to clown my baby daddy. I had a baby daddy that one that was um he was on the street caught his and I needed him to watch my son because I had to go to school. I was in college. I needed him to watch my son. He wanted to be on the on the corner um you know trying to make him a few dollars in 15 cent and i was like okay well y'all gonna be on the corner together making a few dollars of 15 cent because i got something he probably would have judged you for that you see what i'm saying exactly do you understand what i'm saying because i'm like no i got something to do but it made him get off the corner do you understand what i'm saying it's been times i've been one of the ones yes i've called the Oh, you don't want to get off the corner hustling? That ain't what you ready to do? Okay, watch this, 911. I cannot walk to my house right now. Yes, I used to be one of them baby mamas. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> well, we, we never all would, have a past. We it's never crazy. would get, I would never get physical. Like, I, you know, none of my kids' fathers or anything like have ever put their hands on me, thank the Lord. I, But, I mean, I probably, you know, I mean... Did I probably deserve? Nah, nobody is perfect. That's crazy. Do I do I probably deserve probably a good shake up, a good you know good collar pull or something? I probably deserved a few of those. You know what I'm saying? Because I done done some stuff and the, the said some stuff. You know what I'm saying? My it mouth is. my mouth was reckless back in the day. You know what I'm saying? I could I man I could get you in your feelings real. But right real now, quick. right now we can look at life like even though your mouth probably was reckless back in the day. Right now, at this point, you could be, it's any little thing. You could be in the grocery store. You could be at work. You could be washing your car, anything. And you might say one little thing that you may not think that you offended that person. Because you think, oh, I'm holy to die now. But you probably said one little thing like, why would she say that to me? But she don't even realize what she said. So everybody is not perfect in today. Do you understand where I'm coming from? But I think a good thing too, and I feel like this is what, what is happening, but I think it took her a minute to be able to do it. And I'm just going to throw this, even though I was talking about real life, which this is real life, but I feel like Krishan has finally separated Krishan Rock from Krishan Malone. And so when you separate your alter, because I, I, I don't know about y'all, but back in the day, everybody had an alter ego. They had that that one, and I mean, to the day, you know what I'm saying? Y'all don't like, a lot of people love Neek. Neek is my, is fun. Ooh. She's fun. Neek, that's what my friends and family call me. Oh, uh, okay. Neek okay. is fun. Neek is fun. She, she, she's, she's that girl. She got a good one-liner for you every time you see her, whatever. People don't care for me, you know, might not like the business, the other part, Tanika, they might not like her, you know what I'm saying? Because they might be like, she's stuck up, she's sassy, she thinks she know everything, she thinks she's highly intelligent, whoopie, woo, 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 you know what I'm saying? So we have all learned that there is two parts to us, <laughs> and, and yeah. I don't care who you are, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
when I get up here, sister girl, you know what I'm saying? Sister girl is more, she's a combination of Neek and Tanika. She is a combination of them too. She is me. I like to be open and honest, but I like to keep it 100% real. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So she's a combination and she's a good blend of them, of both the fun and the serious side of me. <laughs> And what and that's what people don't give. Some people have pretended to be something for so long, and it has worked for them. And then nobody's uh, just holy than die. <laughs> girl, you like, guys, women, like, how can you talk about? Let me shut up. Look, it's a lot of look. If every night before I close my eyes and I say my prayers, I always say to the Lord, "Please forgive me if I said something to someone." that hurt their feelings, forgive me. And if they said something to hurt my feelings, I forgive them too, Lord. Mm -hmm. Because people just don't know. It takes one word and you don't realize what you said. My it thing is, is that we had the internet. If I had the internet, let me see. When I was 21, it was 1995. So we had the internet, but the internet wasn't like internet. You know what I'm saying? But if we had Twitter, hold on, let me come like the things that we have now back in the 90s and the 80s. <laughs> if we have what we had now back in the 90s and the 80s, just think mm -hmm. about that. Honestly, think about that. How hmm. would our life, how would the world be? Hmm. If we had the internet back then, right? If we have how it is now, if we had you, like the you, how YouTube is now, okay? I'm going to say I was, I'd have been, I was 21, okay? So I'm thinking at 21, 29 years ago, I'd have been 21, 29 years ago. What I was doing 29 years ago, if we had the internet like it is today, mm. imagine it'd be even worse. I had cocaine, cocaine was at an all time. Imagine, cocaine, okay, bloods, crips, house, fucked up. Exactly, way worse than us. Freak me. Thank you. Just think, we, we now you got to go find some old videotapes to give proof. You yeah. gotta get you gotta find them old them old videotapes and a VCR to give proof that they did what they did and and hope that you know what I'm saying? But it don't come from y'all though. Them old VCR, them old VCR <laughs> uh, tapes, VCR. Mm -hmm. So you know, like my son said, it'll probably been worse because you know that's what I said. He meant but, but this is my and my son's 24. He just said to me, my, it had been worse because y'all, he said y'all had crack, y'all had cocaine, y'all had gangs like that was at an all-time high, gang violence, y'all had, everything. you know, y'all had, uh, uh, y'all had, y'all had, had trunks. you remember that too? Uh, you remember the, uh, they, the old people call them peak tongues, remember that? Oh, yes. They used to peep, they have, they, it wasn't like the really sexual assault or that they used to peep in the windows. But that's what I'm saying. He's 24, and he was like, "Mom, it would have been so much more worse." It's so different. If exactly. You could and, it. and you think about that, and then he was like, and "You know what he just said?" He said, "Y'all, the generation that messed us up." Oh, okay. <laughs> I take that from my kids. So that sounds like my oldest daughter. That's um about to be 26 in July. She says the same thing, and she also says that. This she says the generation now um really don't know how to talk to ki to the kids and that's why these kids are out like they are like we don't know how to talk to them because we didn't because we, you know, we don't know how to sit them down and talk we talk to them and we don't sit down and talk and but you know, I, I that you know my daughter says that too but for me that's kind of uh in an eye. Uh, that to me too is good in the eye. I tell you why. Mm -hmm. What I be trying to tell them, I be like, there's really nothing that you you have to realize that 
there's nothing that you're telling me that's new under the sun that's how i feel but they don't see it like that. and i said so what you're <laughs> telling me it's new to you mm -hmm. so it's it's different it's your perception on what i should think about it because it's new to you do you understand what i'm saying and no, how you perceive it. it to be i was like but for me I, I'm a stickler for what the word of God. He said, you go to the elders because they are wise. Wiser, and yes. The, and the young because they have the strength. So you're supposed to take our wisdom along with, with your strength. Yes. That's how it's supposed to be. So I suppose like, I, we didn't grow up in a, and I don't know, maybe that they say that, that that's why we are, the generation is the way it is because we didn't grow up with options. We, didn't we grow did not up grow up with, with options. We didn't grow all. up with, um, we had to do what we had to do. to do. You know what I'm saying? Most of our parents worked if outside the mom, home. If my mom cooked what she cooked in the house and it's on that stove, you had to eat it. You you ate it or your ass go if hungry. You did you, you go didn't hungry. It wasn't, oh, let me take you to McDonald's or let me take you to something. No. It was not that you had to eat whatever McDonald's was on that was stove. A dang treat. You hear me? Mm -hmm. McDonald's was that once a month. And that, that was a treat. And I, we didn't money. even have a McDonald's where I grew up at. We had a Dairy Queen and like a mm -hmm. chicken place. Yeah. So, and that was a treat to have Dairy Queen ice cream. Right <laughs> Those wasn't like for my kids, you know, fast food is not a treat for them. They be like, eh, it's not a treat for them. For me, it was a treat for us to get fast food. We didn't get fast food. Fast food. Okay, I'm going to make it fast for you right here in this damn house. That's how my mom and them did fast food. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it's different now. Then you got to think the generation, we didn't, you know, we had standards. Girls wore, you know, skirts or they wore, you know, shorts up under their skirts until they was little, I mean, older. Uh -huh. We wore, they wore knee skirts, you know, mm -hmm. you was a fast ass if you had on a little bitty skirt. The only way you was allowed to have on a little bitty skirt is if you was a cheerleader. Yeah, exactly, because like I was a cheerleader. It yeah. wasn't something that you just wore. We didn't wear weave in our hair at 13. We did not wear and weave. We had to sneak and wear lip gloss, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I, put a, put, I had to sneak. I was the chili and everything even in pageants i was in pageants and i still had to sneak and put on a little eyeliner and a little lip gloss okay mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's like it's just like if we wasn't wearing what our parents was wearing we wasn't dressing just like our mom mm -hmm. and, you know what i'm saying it wasn't mommy me little mommy me we wasn't get for our damn prom our proms wasn't like wedding receptions you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. it's so much more <laughs> that we have done to because we have wanting to spend money on glamorizing look i'm gonna tell you this one time one of my cousins called me and they was like um they she said she wanted to um throw her baby a birthday party i said okay um she was like the birthday party is going to be like fifteen hundred dollars for the um decorations what well, well how old is how old is the baby four years four years old oh I said, baby, I don't throw $1,500 birthday parties oh. for my own kids. And my kids is, you know, my daughter just turned 13. I said, I didn't throw her a $1,500 birthday party. And that's just the decorations. I said, I, um, mm. I, didn't, I didn't, you know, she just, and she turned 13. She hit a milestone. You know what I'm saying? You know what she, um, she wanted, when my daughter turned 13, you know what she asked me for? What? A sewing machine. Hmm. Wow, creative. You know what I'm saying? Because she wants to make her own, she wants to design her own clothes. Yes. So, you know, That's like, creative. then she says, oh, well, can you, um, okay, well, can you at least buy the cake? I'm like, well, how much is the cake? $150. What kind of cake is uh, this? What kind of, uh, what kind of cake is that? How many, how many is that feeding? Huh? <laughs> I mean, I need, I got some questions. Yeah, I'm sure, cause you know, for a four year old, you either going to H E B, Krogus. <laughs> Come on now. 
And I mean, you know, I'm a guy. I well, love I don't me know some Albertsons. I love me some Albertsons, some Kroger's. Um, Kroger's. y'all. Huh. I mean, the most expensive I'm gonna spend for a cake is probably gonna come out of Whole Foods because they got some good cake. Now, Whole Foods do got some good cake, y'all. But um, I, I and back like, in the day, back in the day when um my uh 26 year old, well she's gonna be 26. Well, 25 years ago, even well, 23, 20, whatever. But back in the day, Fiesta used to have some good cakes. Uh huh. I don't know about now, but Fiesta used to have some good cakes. Well, you know, the Spanish market always be having good stuff. I'm talking about when, because I have a big family being from Louisiana and then mm -hmm. from my um, ex husband's side, big family, and they cook some bakers. But every time I um, get them cakes from Fiesta, they would eat the, like, damn, what mm -hmm. Fiesta you bought this cake from? Mm hmm. But that's what I'm saying. And that's, like, the most I spent was probably $25 on a sheet. Remember, you just get a sheet cake? Uh-huh. Because that's what, that's what I'm for. saying. I mean, I'm just I'm just curious. But see, then, and then it's like, and then I asked her, I said, okay. And I told her, I said, my daughter was like, Ma, stop being so hard. You be being so hard on people. You just said it. I said, no, I just like them to be a realist. I was like, because she's four years old, you just spent over $2,500 for her birthday party that she ain't even going to remember about two days from now. Yeah, I'm not. I'm I not. said, instead of you taking that $2,500, paying your bills, taking $200 of that, having her a party at Chuck E. Cheese, hmm. having her a party, you know what I'm saying? What is at Chuck E. Cheese. They don't do, I'm like, what, you know, no, these kids, these new teenage, these new parents mm -hmm. and this stuff, they too bougie, bougie for Chuck E. Cheese, baby. They be, they be wanting to have parties, had hibachi and all this stuff. What? That's crazy. That is not fun for kids. That's crazy. That is not for children. Mm -hmm. I hate to be the one to tell y'all. That is not my Do you remember Peter Piper Pizza, Pizza, Pizza too? Do you remember huh? Peter Piper Pizza too? Mm-hmm. That, that's where we gave parties at. Chuck E. Cheese, Peter Piper Pizza. We didn't do. Come on now. <sighs> I'm okay. like, yeah, no. having all these ex expensive parties and stuff, and then the next month, two months later, after that, you getting evicted from your home. I, or right. you, you ain't you don't have this big ass birthday party in your car getting repossessed you don't have this big ass birthday mm -hmm. party and you gotta borrow money to pay your mm -hmm. car note you mm -hmm. don't have this big ass birthday party you gotta borrow money to pay your phone bill you got this big ass birthday party or this big ass prom send off and you you two weeks late on your you paying all this interest on your other stuff because you two weeks late because you didn't yeah. have to have a, a million dollar prom sent off. Uh -uh, no. I you laugh on that on that part. One of my um older aunts in my family, right? She have us dying laughing because she old school and she said, I don't understand these young people. These young people, I'm just quoting her, these young people out here with Cellular phone bills. She say cellular phone. Listen, <laughs> cellular phone bills, uh, uh, cellular phone and, and bills, and they can't have barrier insurance and pay twenty five dollars a month. And then when they pass away, they they on there talking about GoFundMe. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. She say these young people today they priorities. But they got a they got a, a iPhone fifteen. And I was just but quoting you, her. You got <laughs> an iPhone fifteen, but you can't. But you don't have no burial insurance. You got yes. an iPhone fifteen, but you don't got. You know what I'm saying? You out here wearing blitzly on blitzly on. And then you begging and, somebody and in your family, these. can you cash out me sixty dollars to pay my light bill? Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. But I just saw you wearing what? Oh no. <laughs> You better take them damn things to the pawn shop <laughs> and pay your light bill. Then pay your damn light bill. And then bill. I can't pay their phone bill. Mm -hmm. Do no, no. The the customer you're trying to reach is on about. So, up, oh, they didn't pay their phone bill this month. Mm -hmm. But it happens all the time. And they so it, sad. You the part. You 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 want to look the part and ain't got shit. You send up and pay somebody three hundred dollars. You send up and pay somebody three hundred dollars just to say you to go get a damn wig installed when you can sit your ass in the mirror. Excuse my. Ooh, they be pissing me off. You can, <laughs> sit, you can sit in the mirror. You know, and I'm a hairdresser by trade. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And. 
I be telling them, I said, okay, you, y'all sitting up here taking all your edges out, doing all this. You done paid all these people all this money, $1,600 for a week to put a damn wig on your head. You done paid somebody $1,200 to put a wig on your head. You done paid somebody, and I ain't trying to knock nobody hustle because like I said, I've been in the, I was in the industry ever since 1992, Okay between and but you pay people all this money to do all this shit and then you leave it to go to your section eight um apartment in the sky <laughs> look when i found out how much it was because i really didn't believe in that because i like my child to have her edges and all of that but when i actually took her to one of those um beauty supplies where i guess it'd be like three of the africans on your head like three of them at one time mm-hmm. When they told me how much it was and I paid for the first time, this is what I told my daughter. You know, I don't believe in spending money like that. I believe in putting money in the savings where you have something. But Mm -hmm. what we're going to do is you're going to go to Google since you want your hair braided and you're going to learn how to braid your own hair. Mm -hmm. And she did that. My little girl started doing that. She's so good. I just took her to the beauty supply just now to go get her some hair because we're going to the family fun day in the park tomorrow, right? Mm-hmm. And she does her own hair. She was like, you know, that's too much money. You're going to tell me it's what? Three, four hundred dollars? Exactly. Well, I can go buy and my daughter can go buy this hair for like twenty five, thirty dollars and do her own hair? No. And she and I got learned how to the, do it herself. You do like me. Like I have a, mm-hmm. we have a girl and shout out to darkest but shot her out y'all let me shout her out she's also an artist she has her own um lp or whatever her own album out her name is dorcas um she's an up-and-coming artist so let me shout her out but she's a traveling um lactation you know what okay, i'm saying shout out to her so i she comes to my you know and i'm glad she comes to my house you know what i'm saying she does mm-hmm. everybody in my house's hair or whatever we pay her but it's it's you know and i know i'm i'm a licensed cosmetologist i know how to Mm -hmm. do it my other daughters they know how to do locks and stuff but we do it for her because it helps her keep money in her pocket keep her business flowing everything like that but you know she charges us damn near half of what we would pay if we would go into somebody's shop. So, Derek, I love that you brought that uh, conversation up because I said that to my daughter because she asked me, Mama, can, Mom, can I make, Um, I have a lot of friends at school saying, Layla, can you braid my hair? Even her friends be on there. Um, Miss Mama, can, can Layla braid our hair? She does so good. We'll pay her. So I said to Layla, if you want to braid hair, that's fine. But don't charge what they charge in them shops. Just, you know, give people a break. Mm-hmm. And that's just a little, you know, a little hustle as a little teenager that you can make. Cause she's she's so good at it now. And see, that's good, girl. That's how I pay my way to shoe, honey. Everybody in my, my I have some people tell girl, you gave me my first ponytail. Remember, we do the waterfall ponytails back in the day. Uh huh. Bad at them, girl. I could throw you a ponytail up. I could throw you some braids with some ponytail, half up, half that. Baby, I was good at what I did. Throw you a 21 piece together, honey, with a short style cutter. Cause I I can bad. I like it with scissor hands with some scissors, baby. So, you know, I was good and I could color. So I was good at what I did. You know what I'm saying? That's good. But I never wanted to, even when I was in the big salons, you know what I'm saying? Like I I worked in a lot of um European salons. Oh wow! So you work with different nationality hair and stuff. Yes, I worked with the Domin- I worked in the Dominican salon, and I was the only. So you know that's what people there was think only two I of am. us in there. Didn't nobody really speak in English, but um, I worked in the Dominican salon in Florida. I worked in a um, you know, I worked in an all black salon. I get that I all in the time. All white people salon. that I am, um, um, they people be coming to me, well, all even Layla friends, my baby friends and stuff. They're like, Mom, people be trying to. They say you look Cuban, D- Dominican Republic. It just and I'm like I'm Creole. Mm-hmm. I'm none of that. But it be you know it's my hair. Like some some um beauty shops I walk in, they don't want to do my hair because they be like I oh you have to get a perm. You have to. So mm-hmm. I actually let this Asian girl do my hair, and she does a great job. Oh my god, with an Asian Philippine. I'm sorry. You know how you can't call them out there because uh-huh. you you don't really know the difference, but. Oh my gosh, she does my hair so she washes my hair so good. She um roller sets my hair like on big rollers. My hair be beautiful. Mm-hmm. 
and I love the way she do my hair. Her and his um his uh Hispanic girl does my hair. Yeah, she roll it and then she blow it out from the rollers. No, 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 no. I don't let them blow it out. Um, oh. I let them wrap it. She oh, wraps it, wrap it from the roller. And then I keep it like I walk out because child, the kind of hair I have, if I walk out, it'll just blow up. So I just keep it wrapped for like a whole day. And then I just um let it come down and fall in curls and it's it just be beautiful. It lasts like that for like um uh, maybe a week and a half. Mm -hmm. It just be beautiful and I love it. But and I'm glad I did work in the Dominican salon because they taught me so much on how to like because their hair is just as thick as our hair and I got mm -hmm. and they want to charge me to still press my hair three hundred and twenty dollars or three hundred and forty dollars because they say the thickness and the length of my hair. Yeah, I used to pay, but I went used to go to the well, I used to go to Florida. I used to go to Florida every three months mm -hmm. and get my hair. Um, well, I would go like almost three months. And um, I'll go every like so six to six to eight weeks, so about two months, and get my hair uh, re uh, blown out. This was before I locked it up. And um, yeah, I see you have locks. Yeah, that was before I locked it up. I used to go and get it blown out and stuff. And okay. it used to last me up until I wash it or come back to get it blown out again. Mm -hmm. they, the Dominicans, they don't be playing, baby. They can, they can get that. They used to get my hair straighter than a child. Mm -hmm. I know. I just be too scared because I don't want my hair to mess up. Never lost a curl. Mm. What people don't understand is in the blow dryer, brown blush in the blow dryer. That's mm -hmm. where it, that's where you get your straightness from. The oh. brown blush in the blow dryer. Oh, okay. Yeah. And once you find it, so since you was um a beautician and you know and all that, is it true that they say that well, you know, it's you know, saying that if a man um if you have a man um doing your hair, that your hair actually grows. I don't know, because I have long hair, thick hair. I don't know. I just hear people say that. That a man can make your hair grow. Mm, is that no. true? I don't think it really de defines uh, defined by gender. I feel like people just have growing hands. Mm, okay. We just call them growing hands. Like people, like you know how some people got green thumbs. Like they mm -hmm. can plant anything and it's gonna bloom. You know, yes. what I mean? uh -huh. some people just got what they call growing hands. So they can, because I know some beauticians. They I ain't never seen none of their people hair grow. You know what I'm saying? And they men. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I just I don't think they just. Because men have taken over the industry of hair. They really have taken over the industry mm -hmm. of hair, makeup, all that stuff. And that's a whole nother thing. I ain't even going to Yeah. Go. That's yeah. a whole nother subject for another day. But <laughs> they, have, <laughs> so, they have taken over the industry, so... Mm -hmm. So you, so it's been a lot going on in the street. I be, I be at work trying to pull up, see what's going on, what's not going. I'm like, oh my god, what's going on? I seen the nephew back in the blogs. Oh um, yeah, nephew. Uh, Clarissa talking about Wildmark. She feel like she working at Wildmark. I'm like, this woman never stops. <laughs> well, you know, the thing. Well, like, so this is um wait, this is my new this is my name. So my big brother or uh, daughter Junior was running all my life. Junior was sleeping. She got a lazy eye, just like my son. Like, Hold on. Junior was sleepy he didn't, sleepy, he didn't want to be bothered. Junior. Oh, oh here. Oh, sorry. Yeah, she yeah, was cause who is that? It looked like Callie. Is that her? No, that's his. That's uh her niece. That's her older brother's daughter. Mm -hmm. Oh, you this this was where was this at? Um, I don't know. Well, uh, was that for Mother's Day? Yeah. Oh yeah, Junior didn't want to be bothered. That was Mother's Day. So. Um, Carlissa fired fired her makeup artist, and Roly hired her. Oh no, Roly hired her. Mm -hmm. You talking about Selena? Mm -hmm. That's Califran, right? Yep. Oh wow. Okay, Roly. Roly, Roly. I think Roly looks good. I don't know. Go ahead. You gonna miss? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
Go ahead. These hoes can't. Um, yes, uh, Miss Beverly, some adults these days. That's true. I, I always tell my friend, my um children, I am not your friend. I am your mother. Mm -hmm. Especially that 13-year-old. But um, sis, I really feel really um, you know, bad that you, you know, that your feelings was kind of hurt from that whole situation. Yeah, I just didn't like the way, you know, and then it's like the stuff on the back end, you know what I'm saying? And this person said this about you and this person. I was like, okay, well, you know, y'all know, I don't, I really don't care about what nobody got to say about me. Well, you know? I've never said nothing bad about you. So I know. <laughs> I'm like, you yeah. know. Or I'm I'm not sure because I, I've been on stuff I've never really seen. Anybody on your panel, Dre, anybody say anything? I want to say this. Everybody talk about Krishan having different um, tattoos to represent stuff. Huh? Look, they they be talking about her, uh, what Krishan's tat different tattoos represent, her little uh, Blue Girls Club tattoo, all this other blue face. And Jane got the same tattoo. She got... She got the that little um, that little devil little tattoo with that money or something that they she all got, got the blue, but hers is incorporated in other tattoos. Like even in this one, you see the blue face. Even in this, you see the blue face at her at her uh you see you see the blue face here, right? Mm -hmm. And then you see the blue face up here in the flower. It's another blue face. You gotta pay attention to them. Y'all, you, you know. Wait, go back and show it again, sis. I didn't see that. So this is on her arm. Yeah. So the blue face is on her. I oh. see it. And then wait, I didn't know that was that's on her hand. Yep. I didn't know that was on her hand. I knew it was on her. And hand. then he's in the flower too. He's in the flower too. You see that? Mm-hmm. See, I thought it was just on her ankle. But is that who? Wait a minute. That's Jaden. That's Jaden. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought we were talking about uh, Christian. Uh -uh, that's Jaden. Mm, see, mm hmm. Because Christian only has that uh, that blue face that on her ankle, right? Mm hmm. It's just on her ankle. Mm hmm. I didn't never, I've never seen that. Well, I don't pay close attention to Jaden like that. So. Only when he was just in the house, when, you know, about Junior, you know. Basically, that was about it. But, wow. Okay. And you know Zeus in Hollywood Unlocked and sat down. To I saw that, too. So. I think he's doing that because I guess what? Well, maybe they had already had that deal. Well, but you know. What do you think about Ray J and... um? You he think that he can keep Jason off of he can keep Ray J quiet with Jason, but Ray J don't care nothing about that. But they don't understand that that when Jason when Ray J come unhinged, he comes unhinged. He don't care about nothing else. But why do people actually think you know Ray J come from old money? You know how the old people say old yep. money, which is long money. Mm -hmm. he, he he's not just with new money. He comes and from he, old like money. He said he helped Linwell start Zeus. He helped him start Zeus and Baddies. And, and you he know what? He's the producer. Truth. Because um, if you go back to um, I think uh, 